What is up? Today we're going to be starting a brand new series on the channel where I'll be playing one of the most well-known Pokemon fan games out there, Pokemon Insurgents. But we aren't going to do a normal plain playthrough. This game is already crazy, but we are going to do a randomizer Nuzlocke. So that means every single Pokemon I encounter is going to be randomized. So we can maybe even start off with a Legendary or a Caterpie. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but on top of the randomizer, we're also going to have the Nuzlocke rules. So you know how that goes. If a Pokemon faints, they are dead. They are gone for good. We aren't just doing any normal Nuzlocke. We're going to do a hardcore Nuzlocke. So that means when we're in a battle, we cannot heal the Pokemon mid-battle. We can only heal after each fight. And obviously, normal Nuzlocke rules apply so that we can only capture the first Pokemon we see in every route or new area. So only one Pokemon per area and only the first one we run into to make it more intense. So I honestly, I wonder if I could even beat this. Welcome to Pokemon Insurgents. <laughs> that music, the music for this game always kind of gets me hyped up. The soundtrack's incredible. All right, so we got to do a dark story. It, it's got to be dark, 100%. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. We live in dark times, my friends. A grave loss has recently befallen us all. As you know, where other regions have evil teams or organizations, it's Pokemon worshipping cults that call Torn Region home. For our protection, the Augur defeated and disbanded over half of them. He saved us. A week ago, he went uh, searching for one of the remaining cults. He has not returned. He hasn't been seen since. Dude, what? Yeah, that, that's so. That's kind of sus though, I ain't gonna lie to you. He just disappeared. I assure you, I will search tirelessly until he's found again. I don't trust this guy. He kind of seems like a like a sleazy car salesman, bro. <laughs> I feel like he's telling a bunch of lies. <laughs> With a heavy heart, I accept the burden of taking his place. Oh, yeah. A real heavy heart there, buddy. Would you like to do a challenge run? Of course. We are definitely doing a challenge run. So to make the Nuzlocke even harder, every Pokemon that we capture during the run... We have to give a nickname to. They have to all have nicknames. Because I feel like when you give a Pokemon a nickname, you kind of love them more than normal. So, wait, wait, so if they die, it's going to hurt even more. <laughs> Nuzlocke. And it's going to be randomized. Uh, this is going to be crazy. Hello? Is this thing working? Can you hear me? We need to be quick. You just remember your name, right? Anita Maxwin. <laughs> ah, it doesn't fit. <laughs> Alright, how about we be Buck... Naked. <laughs> My name is 35 Cent. <laughs> uh, we'll be the, the one on the right. That's... Is, is he just tan? <laughs> I guess, you know, you can't be black, but... <laughs> I guess we, we could be tan. I'll be the tan one. <laughs> I've sent someone to fend it off and get you out of there. You need to wake up. Yo, what is happening? Dude, what is Gengar doing by my bed? Oh, yeah, all right. The door is locked and Gengar is doing her thing. Doing what? What, what is she doing to me? Soon, Dream Eater will rid the prisoner of the last of his memories. So they're using Gengar to give me wet dreams? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, but that's crazy though. So they're using Gengar to actually, like, siphon off my memories. Oh, that's insane. After the child's memories are gone, what do you plan to do with them? Kill them, of course. Dude. Oh, I just noticed that the, the guys that's, like, that's talking, they're dressed like Darkrai. Why are we bothering to wipe the memories if we're just going to kill them? <laughs> you know what? That, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, Mew. Yeah, back up. Yo, Mew came to save me. The Gengar's gone. Go, follow Mew. And never look back. Yo, Mew, what's up? Alright, what's in here? Oh, it's a potion. But wait, I think even the items you find are randomized. So what is this actually gonna be? <laughs> oh, we, we found Sacred Ash. Thanks a lot. I can sure use Sacred Ash in a Nuzlocke! <laughs> oh my god! No! Oh. I love how the game's already trolling me, bro. There are five cults. Okay, so there's five. Dark Ride Cult, Abyssal Cult, Infernal uh, Cult, Sky Cult. So, I'm assuming, obviously, we saw guys wearing Dark Ride, Dark Ride cloaks. So, this has got to be the Dark Ride Cult. So, the Abyssal Cult, I'm assuming that's maybe Kyogre. 
Um, and Infernal maybe has got to be like Groudon. The Sky Cull could be almost anything. I mean, Oh Oh flies, Lugia flies too. So I'm not really sure what, what that one's going to be. Probably Lugia though, because Lugia is always kind of like Sky themed, I assume. And then another cult called Perfection. Alright, Mew is still undecided for whether traveling with 35 cent is a good thing or not. <laughs> Mew's holding a small note. I choose Mew to help you out with this mess due to its special ability. It's able to use Transform to change its form and disguise itself into something else. However, unlike Ditto, you can transform into you as well. Oh, no, it can transform me! Oh, that's kind of crazy. I didn't know that about Mew. So not only, not only can Mew like, transform itself, but it can transform other people? Oh, I mean, I, that's insane. You can find DNA. You can disguise you as someone else. You should be able to use this to escape the base. I need DNA, though. Can I grab this blood from you? There's dried up blood splattered on the ground. Obtain DNA of the Dark Ride cultist. Oh, yeah, we got it. Oh, look at my drip! Oh, that's fi that's fire, dude. That's a oh, look at me, baby. Check me out, <laughs> dude. That outfit is amazing. Oh, more items. Damn, we got a lot of items. A relic statue. <laughs> we also got XP too. Shouldn't you be getting ready for the sacrifice along with everyone else? Yeah, right. The the, the sacrifice. <laughs> okay. And so we begin. Miss, please, you can't do this. I don't want to die. Oh my god. Vakov, I'm not reading that, bro. <laughs> I feel like if I read that, I'm going to summon Dark Rai in my house. <laughs> I ain't reading that. I am not reading that, bro. <laughs> chicka, chicka, boom. Sim, sim, salabim. Dark Rai, the Lord of Nightmares. You are the great balancer of the world. You punish the great and slay the immortal. I know my sister has seen you time and time again. Oh wow, so I guess he, he likes her sister more than her. <laughs> I beseech you, Darkrai, join me. Damn, he dipped again. Yeah, he wants the sister. He don't want you. And what do you two want exactly? Miss, please, I'm confident that if we had another try, we could trap Darkrai here. I mean, they keep trying it and it's still not working, bro. How many times are you gonna try it? But if you just give us another chance, get out of my way. Fire blast! Oh! She used Hound Doom to blast him! That's crazy! This game is so dark. I'm gonna go check on the prisoner. None of you. Oh, that's me. I mean, that's right, we gotta dip. We gotta dip. Run, Mew! Run! We drew straws to see who would have to be sacrificed this year. The fact that it could have easily been up me up there scares me. And the fact that they drawing straws to see who gets sacrificed, that's how you choose? Draw straws? Right, we're outside now. Careful there. Don't disturb a lumberjack while they're jacking, I mean, <laughs> while they're working. Obtain the quartz flute. This flute lets you call upon you when needed. To use it, go into your bag and either use it directly or register it. Good luck. Alright, nice. We can put the flute on Mew. Who's this kid? I got swear I saw Mew here earlier just now. How about you mind your business, bro? <laughs> would you mind your damn business? <laughs> Did you see it? A tiny pink Pokemon? It was floating really close to you. I ain't no snitch. 35 cent ain't no snitch, bro. I, I didn't see nothing, bro. I didn't see nothing. Oh, I could swear I... My name is Damien. I'm an aspiring Pokemon trainer. And you are? 35 cent? Got it. <laughs> Nothing weird about that. A kid named 35 cent. The Augur, the greatest man in the world, of course is coming today. Alright, you don't gotta glaze him that, that hard, bro. You know the Augur is, right? No, who's that? How could you not? Have you been living under a rock? I know, why don't you help out? We're assigning jobs in the town hall. No, thank you. You know, cleaning and so on. You gonna make me clean, bro? <laughs> I got stuff going on, bro. I don't got time to clean. I, I, we found a revive. <laughs> Can this game stop trolling me? <laughs> the second Augur is the most amazing person ever. They say he's so strong he defeated Kyogre in a wrestling match. <laughs> no, he did not. <laughs> Who's saying these things? He definitely did not wrestle Kyogre with his bare hands, bro. <laughs> 
Isn't that incredible? It's it's incredibly false. Oh, it's bullshit. <laughs> There's no way he did that. I think I think I think she's going senile. I think you're losing your mind, Granny. Yo, did you hear? The August come into our little town. He's like the leader of the region. Why am I giving him this accent? I, 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 <laughs> it's like, I think it's the, the backwards hat. <laughs> I heard he has a salamance. Awesome. <laughs> Most of the gyms in Torn region are based around a theme rather than a type. For example, Xavier, leader of the X-Men, <laughs> has a forest-themed gym, which means he uses both poison and bugs. Okay, that's cool. So I guess like instead of being an only bug-type trainer, the gym leaders will have a theme, like a forest type or like desert type, which might be rock and ground and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, there's Damien again. I finished cleaning up the road. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, it's 35 Cent. I met them outside. They offered to help too. Nice to meet you, 35 Cent. <laughs> well, Damien, I think we're pretty finished. As long as you have your gift for the auger ready, I think you're done. You do have your gift, right? Um, uh, uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, um, uh, but, 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 I may have forgotten. Of course you have. You better find one, and fast. I heard you could find a rare stone in one of the caves in the forest. Damien is not ready to get a Pokemon. He's still just a child. I mean, come on, let him have a Pokemon already. Like, every kid in Pokemon, like, when they turn 10 years old, gets a Pokemon and goes off on an adventure, fights villains, travels the world. What's dangerous about that? <laughs> Mom, please. Everyone else in town already got theirs and have left. And you're not gonna follow them. You'll get yourself killed. Why do you care? It's not like you're my real mom. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Damien going crazy. Oh no. I raised you since birth. You're not capable of raising a plant, let alone Pokemon. Damn. Oh, she roasted him. You can't even wipe your own ass. <laughs> <laughs> Damien, <laughs> you're responsible, anti-social, and you can't eat. Oh, chill, chill, chill. She is roasting him, bro. She is roasting him. That's enough out of you two. You're embarrassing us. You said it. You said your name was. <laughs> you said your name was thirty-five cent. I'm sure you handled a Pokemon before. Would you be willing to help him through the forest to the cave to help him find a gift for the auger? Nah. Are you sure? The EVR Professor Sylvan gives out are the best of the best, rest assured. We'll lend one to both you and Damien. Would you willing to help him through the forest in the cave to help him find a gift for the auger? Nah. <laughs> I feel like if I don't say yes, they won't let me leave, so I'll just say yes. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm very grateful. So it's settled then. 35 Cent will help Damien get a gift for the auger. And if Damien shows responsibility, perhaps he can keep the Pokemon afterwards. Yo, who's this shady guy? Listen, Professor, these Pokemon, they're freaks! <laughs> what? What's happening? No other trainer would want them, and we, we can't keep them any longer. I'm Damien, and this is 35 Cent. We're here to get a Pokemon so we can go into the forest safely. If you don't take these Pokemon, I'll release them, and they'll sure to die in the wild. I mean, it, Professor, if you got a Vaporeon lying around, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, here comes the starters. Excuse me, please. That was mad shady. So you two are in need of Pokemon. Yes, ma'am. Tell me, Damien, 35 cent. Have you ever heard of something called Delta Species? I've been hearing about that. So I think Delta Species are this game's like regional Pokemon, right? So I, I believe that Insurgents has their own form of regional variants called Delta. But I'm gonna say no. Let's see what, they, what, what the description says. I'm gonna say no. They're Pokemon that have different DNA than normal Pokemon. Simply put, they're typed differently than normal. An example would be Electric Type Dragonite. Oh my God, that would, that, would, that would look so sick. An Electric Dragonite. I mean, keep in mind we are doing a randomizer, so these Pokemon could be anything. Low key, I'm kind of excited to see what they're gonna be, because these three Pokemon could be any Pokemon in the game. Oh my God, I'm kind of excited to see what it's gonna turn out to be. Okay, let's see. What's the first one gonna be? This is the random Pokemon War Turtle. Okay, so that's a War Turtle. This one's gonna be a random Pokemon, Litwick. Okay, so it's Litwick, War Turtle. And what's the last one gonna be? This is a random Pokemon called Cast Form. Oh, so it's a Cast Form. Okay, so I think she gives also an Eevee. I'm not sure if the Eevee gets randomized or not. I have no idea. Look, I might, I might pick War Turtle. 
But I do love Chandelier. Chandelier is one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 5. Alright, so I'm gonna pick War Turtle. We're gonna go with War Turtle. Let's get it. Are you sure? Yeah. War Turtle it is. Alright. Give a nickname? Hell yes. Okay, so we're gonna name the War Turtle Donatello. <laughs> we gotta go with Donatello. Hell yeah. Alright, 35 cent. I think you're right. We're gonna pick a Delta Pokemon just like you. Hey, 35 cent. Before we go into the Shade Forest, how about a battle? Oh, he wants to battle right away? <laughs> okay. What did he get, though, is the question, because I got a War Turtle. Now, I wonder if it also gave him, um, the, the thing was a Lipwick. Did he get the Lipwick? Or something entirely different? Oh, he got a Zangoose. Oh, wow. I right, let's use Water Gun on him. Nice, we got a crit. Water Gun again. All right, one more hit should do it. Oof, that was close. I he got a, he got a Zangoose and we got a War Turtle. Okay, so it seems like our War Turtle is actually a regular one. It's not Delta, so we got Donatello for the squad. All right, 35 cent. Here's the deal. I'm going to head north into the Shade Forest. At the northern end of the forest is a really large cave. In the middle of that cave is the rarest stone we're looking for. I'll meet you in there, okay? Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Restore your tire Pokemon to full health. Yeah, we gotta heal my boy Donatello. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we have some money. Let's buy some Pokeballs. Because obviously we gotta run into our first capture for each route for the Nuzlocke. So we gotta have balls to be ready to capture stuff. Alright, so I'll buy 10 Pokeballs for now. Let's buy 10 and we'll buy some potions too. Let's buy some potions also. Four potions should be enough for now. And now we gotta go up to meet uh, Damien by the cave. Okay, so I think we can actually get our first encounter here at the Shade Forest. Um, and keep in mind, I have no idea what Pokemon we're gonna run into because it's a randomizer. So I hope it's a good one, you know, to add to the team. I'll, let's see what it's gonna be. Come on, come on. Whoa, whoa, Carnivore! But look at her. Oh, she looks crazy. Oh my god, it's a Delta, it's a Delta Carnivore! Oh my god, dude, holy crap! Okay, she, she's only level 3 though, so I, I don't want to kill her. I feel like Tackle shouldn't, shouldn't kill You know what? But hold on. I don't, I don't want to kill the Carnivore, so let's actually try to just capture it straight away with no damage done. Come on. Let's go, baby. Oh! She broke Thunderbolt! Oh my god! She has Thunderbolt! Oh my god, she's electric! Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I might have to run. She has electric type moves. I didn't even realize this God of War was an electric type Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god! I think I could probably take one more attack though. Before it's too late. I don't want to risk dying here. Oh no. Maybe I should tackle Tackler. Level 9 though, I really don't want to kill this Garnivore. Let's, let's tackle it, let's tackle it. Ice Beam, okay, thank goodness. She's an idiot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if this Pokeball misses, I might die, I might die right here. <laughs> the Nuzlocke might end <laughs> and, and, like this quickly. Come on, come on, please, please. <gasps> Ice Beam again. Oh, I don't know if I should risk this. This is so risky. I might just run. One more try. One more try. Oh, no. Ice Beam again. Oh, my God. This is kind of ridiculous, bro. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so greedy. I got to run. I have to leave it. I'm so sorry. Oh, my first encounter. I, I can't risk it. <laughs> I don't get my help. <laughs> I've been pushing my luck this entire time. And I really don't think it, it's worth all this effort. Oh, no. My first encounter. It's going so wrong. Let me go one more time. I don't, I don't know what to do. 
<laughs> She's refusing to get into the Pokeball. One more try. We're gonna try this one more time. Oh no! Oh, Blizzard didn't kill us. <laughs> Let's go! We ball! We ball, baby! I'm dead. One HP! Run! 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 Oh my god. Can you believe that? I mean, that oh, like that was my fault over trying to like really make that happen so badly, but oh, that was crazy. I'm so sorry, Donatello. I'm so sorry, bro. I almost sacrificed you. Just just for a god of war. <laughs> heal him. Thank god. Please heal him. Is he a trainer? He wants to fight me or what? This guy a trainer? Oh, he is a trainer. This forest is a bit dangerous. Shouldn't you be at home? Who the hell are you talking to right now, bro? Should not be at home. Shouldn't you be at the North Pole? <laughs> oh my god, it's Voltorb. Dude, another electric type Pokemon. Jesus. Oh, we're in trouble. Tackle, maybe. Oh my god, charge. He's charging up. Alright, tackle's physical though, so we're good for now. Alright, he missed. We gotta kill him fast. He's missing every shot. Yeah, you scrub. Get him out of here. <laughs> Give me your money. Yo, that's quite the Pokemon you have there. Yeah, we got $192. Dude, that was kind of scary because another Pokemon with electric type moves. That could have gone horribly wrong for us. Alright, what's up here? Oh, another trainer. There are a lot of different types in the Pokemon world. My favorite are bug types. Alright, so he's a bug catcher. He loves bugs. And he's a muck. Oh, it's like a... Oh my god, it's like a ground, sandy kind of muck. Dude, we keep seeing more and more deltas. This, this kid's a liar too. He loves bug types. Got a damn muck. <laughs> I, I know it's a randomizer. Attack! Water gun his ass. Nice. I use Harden. Water gun again. Get him out of here. Hell yeah. Dude, we are leveling up so quickly. Funny enough, because of the randomizer earlier, we actually got a relic statue. I wonder how much they're gonna pay for the relic statue that we got earlier. Alright, so a stone figure made 3,000 years ago. A maniac will buy it at a higher price. 200,000! <laughs> I'm rich! <laughs> I mean, I mean, we might as well buy 99 Pokeballs, right? <laughs> Why not? I'm gonna splurge today. I'll leave a tip too. Keep the change. <laughs> Man, it really sucks that we missed our, our only encounter for this area. And now the Shade Forest, we can't capture anything else we see, bro. Yo! <laughs> no! We ran into an Entei! <laughs> we ran into an Entei and I can't capture it! <laughs> oh my god! You're a living man! It seems so weird to see a level 4 Entei. Oh my god! And now I can't even capture him. I mean, I guess we'll just kill him to get the XP points to level up Donatello. Oh, I can't believe this. <sighs> A freaking Entei. Oh my goodness. Alright, we got a new trainer. Hey, this forest is dangerous. It's not safe for kids like you. Oh, he has two Pokemon. Oh my god, two to my one, man. Yo, what is that? Oh, now nah, this game is insane. This game is goaded. These Delta forms are so god tier. It's like a, it's like a four-armed golem. It's like if, if Golem and Machamp had a baby. Oh, that looks crazy. Is it, is it rock type or ground type? I guess we use water gun on it. Oh yeah, it gotta be like ground, I think. All right, what's he gonna have next on his team? <laughs> Bergmite. Oh my goodness, not Bergmite. Nice. Water gun him again. I just lost to a kid? A kid? Yeah, bro. Now, now give me your money. <laughs> you just lost to a kid. Heh. <laughs> Hope you're ready to be crushed by my superior Pokemon. His superior Pokemon? What are you gonna have, bro? Mime Jr.? That's superior? If you're Mime Jr.? Get out of here, bro. Superior. <laughs> you're superior to nobody. Mime Jr. 
Superior Pokemon. Look at my superior Pokemon. <laughs> you scrub? Let's go. Water gun. Nice. Oh my god, level 14 already. I I lost? Did you cheat? Okay, but now we are in the Telnor cave. This is a new area. So we can get our next encounter here. This time we have to capture it. I, I cannot whiff two times in a row. Because I already feel like I'm behind only having one Pokemon on my team already, you know? Because the Shade Forest encounter already got whiffed. So I, I feel like we have to capture whatever we find here. I mean, fingers crossed our first encounter is, is a good Pokemon, right? Nothing like terrible. But whatever we get this time, we have to capture it. Oh, okay, I'll, t I'll take a Talon Flame. Okay, Fletch, I'll take it. Right, so you gotta be careful though. This is fire type, so we gotta use tackle on it. I don't wanna I don't wanna kill it. I do not wanna Oof, that tackle did a lot of damage. Alright, let's try and capture. Let's go for a capture now. Come on, come on. Oh! <laughs> okay! <laughs> that was so much easier than the God of War. <laughs> that was so much easier. Alright, Fletch, we got you. Alright, so we're gonna name Fletch uh Mike Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> so before we move on, let's heal Mike Hawk. You know, we gotta heal the Fletch Cinder. I wanna make sure that um we're gonna be full of health here. Let's just go heal him. Before we continue on. I'll also heal Donatello too. Oh he has an item! Wait a minute, wait a minute. So Mike Hawk has a an item on him. Oh it's a alert ball. Oh, it's a leprechaun. <laughs> oh, you want me lucky charms? Are you trying to humiliate yourself? <laughs> All right, ruined maniac. Uh, Garen wants the battle. Here's a hop bib. Um, what level was the Mike Hawk actually? Level seven. All right, let's bring Mike Hawk in to get some XP. Cause it's a grass type, so we'll get some extra XP for Mike here. Oh, he has no- oh! No fire attacks! Alright, I guess use tackle, I guess. Tackle him! We got a crit! Awesome! Oh, he got a crit too! Oh, we got the burn on him! Oh, the burn! Mike is kinda low, though. Tackle, tackle. We should be good. We should be good. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh, Pyroar! Alright, let's bring back in Donatello. Alright, water gun. You're getting worked up. Yeah, get out of here, Pipe Roar. Get your ass out of here. Nice, Mike, Mike leveled up. Damn, Mike leveled up three levels. You learned Peck too. Awesome. Aren't you a little bit eh, young to be traveling with a Pokemon? <laughs> Why? Why are you coming at me? Bro? Why aren't you? Aren't you a little too old to be talking to kids? <laughs> Hiker Kinman wants to battle. It's like, oh, what the hell? Oh, is that an, is that an electric type Typhlosion? If so, this Typhlosion could single-handedly wipe my whole team. It looks pretty electric to me, and we have a flying type, a flying fire type, Mike Hawk, and then the water type Donatello. We might be in trouble right now. I mean, I think my level difference might keep us alive, though. Yeah, it's gotta be electric. I don't know what this Delta type is gonna be, but it looks, it's gotta be electric. Tackle, I guess. Tackle. Yep, Thunder Shock. Oh my God, we, that was a crit, and that did no damage at all, dude. Oh my God, he might kill my whole team, bro. If anything, I'll sacrifice Mike. We can't let Donatello die. Oh no. I can't believe this! Our whole team might die to this Typhlosion! We're so weak against electric type moves! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Mike! Mike! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Quick attack? I don't even know, dude. Oh, we're screwed! He's Oh, Mike Hawk! Mike Hawk, no! Mike! 
<laughs> Dude, I think my team's gonna lose right here. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Oh my god. Water gun's not gonna do anything. Ta yeah, tackle him. He's faster too. Oh my god, he's faster than me also. Oh my god, he's so much faster than me. Donatello! You bastard, you killed him! Thirty-five cent. Your nose dog challenge is over. Thank you for participating. <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe this. <laughs> Donatello, Mike. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below what should we do. I I'm thinking about just starting from from the start again, um, and we'll just restart the whole uh, story. We didn't get that far, you know, so I don't think it's gonna be that much of an issue to restart from. Um, the beginning again. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>